Eugene. Hello. Stay in a letter with Gartner. Nice to meet you, Savannah. Nice to meet you as well. Do you mind if I take a seat? Sure. All right, thank you. So first, I was going to go ahead and hand you my business card okay. so that we can have a clear line of communication for the future. Sounds good. All right, do you have one I can have as well? Um, I don't have one on me, okay. unfortunately. Well, I can grab one from your um, administration assistant as I walk yeah, out then. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So how's your day going so far? Oh, uh, it's busy. Busy? It's busy. Yeah. Okay, well, busy keeps you on your toes then. That's right. That's always good. All right. So I know when I scheduled this meeting, we were going to have about 20 minutes. Is that still correct? Yep, 20 minutes is good. Okay, perfect. So as you know, I met with Bob recently. I'm really excited about what Gartner has to offer Faith and Mercy Healthcare. Um, he seemed to think that we're going to be a great fit, so I was excited to meet with you to hopefully show you the value in Gartner as well. And so um, I just want to ask you, did Bob share with you what Gartner is all about? Uh, not too much. I mean, he's actually he's actually resigned from his position. Okay. Uh, so he'll be departing in a, in a few weeks. Okay. Um, so. Well, I'm sorry to hear that Bob is going to be leaving the group, but I'm confident that I'm still going to be able to show you as well the value in Gartner. Okay. So to kind of put Gartner in a nutshell to give you an idea about why I'm here today, we're the world's leading research and advisory company. So we serve about 70% of the Fortune 1000 companies, 80% of the Fortune 500 companies. But really what those statistics mean for you is that we give IT leaders like yourself the right tools to make the best decisions possible for their company. Okay. How does that sound to you? That sounds interesting. Okay. So what I would like to do, um, set an agenda for what I'd like to accomplish. I did learn a little bit about your organization from Bob. I want to clarify where you're at um, in your position on those issues. Okay. So first, like I said, you know, kind of go over what I learned from him. Look at your position there, seeing if you're you know, finding any other challenges that maybe you're facing in your role here and where Gartner can come in and provide a solution. Sure. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay. And if I'm able to show you the value in Gartner today, are you willing to move forward in doing business? Uh, it depends on price and everything. I mean, I think budgets are budgets are pretty tight at the moment. Okay. Uh, but I'm curious to see what, what you have to offer. Okay. I understand budget's going to be an issue when looking at any investment, so I definitely want to make sure that I cover that with you as we go on. Okay. okay. Um, is there anyone else that we need to include in this meeting today? No, just me. Okay, and then um, what decision criteria do you usually need to make an investment of this kind? Mm, it just has to make sense for our organization. So okay, uh, there's there's a couple things that are top of mind uh, for me as Bob's leaving. I'm going to be taking over some of his responsibilities. So okay, uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if I have a good answer for that, okay. but I'm I'm intrigued to see what you guys have to offer. All right, well, it's my understanding. I'm going to learn a little bit more about your organization and then see if there's a value that equates between the two. Sure. Okay. All right, do you mind if I go ahead and get started and take some notes? Sure. Okay. So to start out, I do want to kind of go over three main things that I spoke with Bob about. So I mean, he told me you guys are maybe looking into a new electronic medical record system. Um, you do have a new CEO, mm -hmm. and you seem pretty adamant about cutting costs. You mentioned budget is something totally. that's going to be important to you. I also saw that your IT budget is about 1.5% right now, um, equating 22.5 million. It's actually 19 million. 19 million? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to make that adjustment here. Okay. So a little bit less than that 1.5% then. Okay. So from that, um, can you first help me better understand what your corporate goals are here at Faith and Mercy Healthcare? Uh, it's mainly, I mean, the biggest thing right now is just running more efficiently. So we're okay. uh, looking to cut our costs, um, okay. which, which budgets are already pretty tight. So it's a, it's a tough ask, uh, but that's what I'm being told to do. Okay. <coughs> the other thing is uh, just streamlining our medical record systems. Okay. Uh, just to, I mean, that's, that was kind of Bob's responsibility, but I'm, I'm stepping into uh fix some issues there with uh, okay. making sure things are uh, working appropriately, capturing the information appropriately, most importantly, uh, being in compliant with uh, okay. the, uh, the healthcare regulations so okay. we don't expose ourselves to any unnecessary risk. Okay. So I'm understanding you correctly, kind of two main parts there that mm -hmm. you're focusing on, one area cutting costs, the other streamlining those medical record systems. Yep. Is that correct? Okay. The first one I do want to hit, since you mentioned it first, is the cutting costs. So what areas are you currently looking to cut costs in, or do you have an idea yet? 
ok it's tough i mean we're we're pretty lean i feel as it is so i'm 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 struggling to see like where we can continue to shave off money without sacrificing our quality of of service that we're providing understandable so i'm not really sure where to start ok with have you looked at some benchmarking data at all with different vendors and kind of being able to compare your organization to others in the industry umm i haven't ok would that be something that you'd be interested in seeing like you said organization seems lean maybe looking at where others are allocating their money that might help give you an idea of other areas you can cut costs does that sound like something you'd be interested in could be interesting yeah ok all right so if you haven't used benchmarking data what are you currently doing in order to cut these costs what are your current methodologies with that umm looking at our uh... some of our current expenditures ok for the contracts that we already have committed umm i mean just i'm a big fan of some of the industry conferences so i've been to the hims conference and i'm going to uh... uh... the healthcare informatics summit in san francisco tomorrow actually ok which is uh... a gartner conference that i'm excited about so that'll be awesome yeah ok perfect you said san francisco that's correct ok mmhm yep love san francisco all right so you went to the conferences ok so is it more of like a peer network talking to others in your role if that's how you're getting your information yeah just some of the sessions that they have there and they have some good best practices that they're sharing of you know what's been working well for other organizations of course all right so how do you think that's working for you think that's gonna get this done in a timely manner or are you a little bit worried about deadlines here uh... i'm a little nervous i mean the the cost cutting is tough ask with mm-hmm like I know we need to make some big changes with our systems mm-hmm. and that comes with additional investments and that's where I'm a little bit stuck in the middle of okay. being asked to cut costs and mm-hmm. budget seems uh, budget seems pretty low so I'm kind of curious to see uh, you know how we can go about that okay I do want to ask um, can you quantify that cost cut for me in a percentage a dollar amount mm-hmm. be ten percent ten percent cost okay do you have a dollar amount um, uh, for that like on hand? About two million. About two million. Yeah. It is a big project mm-hmm. for you. All right. So, um, do you have a set deadline? I know I mentioned deadlines earlier. Do you have something that your CEO is giving you that this is really when he would like um, you to have a new budget in order? Uh, be everything like in place by the end of 2018. By the end of 2018. Yeah. Okay. 2018. Okay. Is there anything else with the cost that's really concerning to you that you think would be beneficial for me to know? Mm, no, it's just it's just hard. Okay, yeah. just really having a tough time with that right now, trying to find a good methodology to um, achieve that. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm just not sure if it's like too, you know. I mean, we're being asked to do it, but I'm not sure if it's just too low in general. Like what our what our budget is, we continue to reduce it year over year. Right. And I don't want to get to a point where quality suffers because we're not. Mm-hmm. budgeting the right amount. Okay. I'm glad you mentioned that because working with different customers in this industry, we found that the average um, IT budget is around 3%. So I saw that um, Faith and Mercy Healthcare was 1.5%. That seems a little low. Is that something that you've run into? IT budget. Sorry. Yeah. That's so what, what's, that, what's that number from? That's like an average? Or an so with our, um, we do a lot of research here at Gartner, and then we've worked with a lot of different companies, like I said, you know, 70% of the Fortune 1000, 80 of the Fortune um, 500, mm-hmm. so that's just something, you know, we've come to find through yeah. lots of different areas of research. So yeah, I was just wondering, aware of that. Okay. Do you think your CEO would be interested in, you know, seeing how other companies are allocating their IT budgets? I and think, seeing that maybe you could yeah. capitalize better on your investment here. Yeah, I'd be, I mean, that would be really good. Uh, okay. For yeah. the challenge I have is I'm being told to do something, but I don't have anything to push back with. Okay. Right? So, so I was actually curious about where we were stacking up, and that would be okay. That'd be something that I mean that'd be really really helpful. So something back up, give you some credibility to what mm-hmm. you have to say. Okay. Perfect. Now I do want to ask if you are not able to achieve that 10% cut in costs. What is that going to mean for the organization? Hmm. I mean, it's less of a, it's more of like, what's the trade-off? Like, we can achieve that, mm-hmm. but it's more of like, at what expense are we willing okay. to uh, uh, sacrifice mm-hmm. with the level of quality in our systems and 
exposing ourselves to too much risk i think that's the thing i think about quite frequently is how much do you cut and then what's the implication of you know just not being compliant if we get audited we can get exposed to you know lawsuits potentially if something's filed against us and then they yeah so that's super costly okay so i think i've got a good idea of where you're at with costs i do want to cover one more thing before i begin showing you a little bit about gartner so i mentioned earlier that bob really emphasized a new medical record system is that something that you're interested in as well i'm interested in the right medical record system i think he was his head was all over the place in terms of fixing things and it isn't broke so he's focused more on the making it easier for the doctors and i'm trying to just to make it work efficient yeah like we want to be compliant and we want to do the the more important things right first until we make it more user friendly okay so in order to you know make you know improve the efficiencies make sure it's just the right software there what are you doing are we currently doing to do that um i mean i'm just investigating some you know different vendors potentially if we're going to move to a new vendor um or if there's other internal processes that we need to uh put in place to just ensure that we're collecting the right information the right way and securing it the right way so i think we just need to go through with a fine-tooth comb to make sure that the systems and the processes are set up correctly do you think reviewing the contracts of these vendors is going to be important and really looking at the nitty-gritty details you mentioned cost or something um that's going to be huge so looking at the nitty-gritty details details and making sure you're getting the best bang for your buck in a sense is that going to be important moving forward with this new system um yeah i mean there's like two things there's like the right systems in place and ignoring costs and then trying to just like squeeze every penny out of everything which uh you know which i don't want to cut something where it's actually going to sacrifice our our quality of of what we do okay so to clarify this medical record system and you're looking to streamline it so right now you know you're looking at a number of different vendors Mm -hmm. here and so are you at the point where you're trying to make decisions on a vendor no because i have to cut my costs (laughs) cut your costs first okay yeah so really that's going to be the first main thing in addressing for Mm -hmm. you okay all right well i think i've got some great information here kind of lines up with what bob said i can see you got a little bit of a different standpoint so i'm excited to hear that i have to raise my budget if i invest in vendors okay that's why it's just this is i can't do both okay well hopefully today i'm able to show you how you can do both because i want to make sure you're able to cut the cost but you're also able to ensure the best quality with the organization so that being said i do want to sum up kind of what we talked about and then go into a little bit about Gartner. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if I um, understand you correctly, cutting costs, that's your number one thing right now that you've been tasked with for your CEO. That's going to be a 10% cut, around $2 million. Big challenge there. Um, currently, you're not quite sure how you're going to do that. You seem to have a pretty lean organization here. And um, with that, your deadline's going to be the end of 2018. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, beyond that, you know, once you get that figured out, your next project is going to be the streamlining the medical record system, potentially finding a vendor that's going to work with your budget. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's more of like I know that's important. I don't really have a plan in place because it costs money. Okay. But I, I think about it all the time. Okay. Well, if it's okay with you, I do want to show you a couple of Gartner's tools today. Sure. And show you how we can provide you some value and hopefully help you achieve these. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you. This is the package we have for Gartner CIOs. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, it has three main categories here, research, cost optimization tools, and executive partner. The one I want to focus on today, based on our conversation, and we have only 20 minutes, Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to show you the most important one that's going to help you achieve these goals. So cost optimization here. So as you can see, we have an IT budget tool. So basically, it's going to be a self-assessment tool. You're going to enter in all your budget information, your information on staffing, Mm -hmm. you know, where people are allocated. Then, Gartner is going to deliver you a over 20 page report on your industry specific data, benchmarking based on staffing, spending in certain IT areas, you know, where your full budget matches up with others' budgets. Mm-hmm. Does that sound something that's, that is that's intriguing? That's where the 3% number comes from that you mentioned earlier? Yes, so that's okay. kind of this area is yeah. where we're getting that number. So, I do want to kind of show you what that would look like. So, as you can see, this page here this mm-hmm. is one of the pages of the report. You mentioned, you know, we said, like I said, the 1.5% mm-hmm. is kind of low. So I'm going to zoom in here so you get a better idea. Mm-hmm. This is going to break it down 
by your areas of IT. Mm -hmm. um, for a very simple demonstration here, so you can look at application development, this specific organization is spending around 35% of their mm -hmm. IT budget there. The industry average is only 9%. Mm -hmm. So that's going to show you that that's an area that maybe you didn't notice before, but you could be cutting costs, whether it's mm -hmm. looking at vendor contracts, looking at how you're staffing um, that area. On the opposite spectrum of that, we have application support. So, um, in this particular case, this company is spending 12% on application support for 2017. The industry average was 32. Mm -hmm. So, you mentioned earlier that you're going to need that, something to back you up when you present to your CEO. Mm -hmm. This is going to show you that other companies are better investing their money and capitalizing their investment mm -hmm. because these are successful companies that we're going to be using benchmarking data for. So, with that, with this information, do you think you would be able to better present to your CEO what areas you need to cut costs, what areas you maybe need to look at your investments and capitalize those. So basically what, what I'm asking is, mm -hmm. do you see this as a form of credibility on your ideas when you're presenting this? Yeah, this is really good stuff. Okay. Where's the three, is the 3% in here? So 3% actually yeah. isn't in here, it's just industry, industry okay. data. I can get that email to you um, right after our meeting right. today. I definitely want you to know that you know what I have to say isn't just something I'm making yeah. up on the spot here. So with good. that, this is good. Okay, what do you think you would be able to do with this? Not, I mean, obviously, you're probably going to reach that cost cutting by 2018 because this is going to show you exactly where to do yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it just opens up the whole thing. It's like maybe I can, the, I need more budget. Like I know mm -hmm. that. So this is this is a good uh, ammunition for me to like ask for for more or maybe to take the cost cutting off the table and mm -hmm. um, be able to demonstrate if we are significantly underinvested, then. That was my gut feel, so this can help validate that to, you know, to my CEO and maybe get more, get, get the money I need to make those technology investments. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So with that, I know our time is coming to a close. Mm -hmm. I do want to, but I appreciate your time here today. So from what I've shown you, you mentioned that your top goal is going to be cutting that cost. That's what your CEO has to ask you with. Today I've shown you how you're going to be able mm -hmm. to do that in a time efficient manner. And one way that's going to mitigate risk, making sure you're staying up with the competitors. And then, furthermore, I mentioned a research aspect. That's something I'd like to discuss at another meeting to maybe start addressing that streamlining the medical record system issue. Mm -hmm. So now that I've shown you all of that, do you see the value that Gartner has to offer? Yeah, I'm just curious to see how it's packaged and what the price is. Okay. And I would love to show you all of that. I know, as you mentioned, the budget mm -hmm. is going to be something that is important to you. So first, I do want to go ahead and see before our time runs up, maybe we could set up another meeting to let you get more hands-on with Gartner as well as delve deeply into the package. I want you to have a great understanding. You know, when you're looking at your budget, I want you to see where your investments are going and the value that you're getting on that investment. Sure. So if it's okay with you, I'm actually going to be in town next Tuesday. Would you have any time that we could, you know, maybe have a little bit of a longer meeting to really have a great conversation about the value we're going to provide, the packages, and mm -hmm. the price, most importantly, for you? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, would next Tuesday at 2 p.m. work for you? Yep. Okay. I will go ahead and write that down. I'll also send you a Google invite going over what we went over today, as well as if you want to reply with any specific topics, questions. Um, be sure to send those to me, and I'll make sure I have information printed out for you so you can see those stats that I'm referring to. Okay. Is there anyone else that you want to include in this meeting so they can see the value as well? No, if it makes sense. So then. you're going to be the ultimate yeah. decision maker there? Sure. All right. Well, I look forward to meeting you next Tuesday and hopefully starting a partnership with Gartner. All right. Great. How does that sound? Sounds good. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Yep. All right. Okay. How much time you got? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, let me catch your breath there. <laughs> I know, I've Take a breath. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. I like your pins. Everyone has the. Yeah, absolutely. Pins. So, what school? What school are you from? You're from Central Oklahoma. Okay, Oklahoma. I got some on my team from Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's in Oklahoma, right? It is. It is. Yeah. So about two hours from where I'm at. Okay. Yes, I'm right outside of Oklahoma City, so yeah. I don't know if that kind of gives you an idea there. Yeah, you having yeah. fun? I am. This is a lot of fun. I'm definitely a nervous person to the competition aspect. You know, yeah. It keeps me on my toes, but um, really enjoying it so far. Kind of sad that tomorrow's the last day, yeah. but it's been a lot of fun. I have graduation coming after this, so okay. it's going to be the next Are you committed thing. to jobs or anything yet? I have one that yeah. you know, I'm really leaning towards. Obviously, I know it's good to... 
you know, when you're at these network, mm -hmm. keep option o options open because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. So for me, that was, you know, my, one of my other goals coming into this competition, okay. just meeting as many people as I can, learning about as many companies as I can. Cool. Well, Gardner's hired. <laughs> good to hear, yes. I actually do have a call with you guys yeah. next week, okay, so I'm good. excited for that. Um, they were talking about the Dallas office yeah. opening up. So that will be, be happening really soon. Learn a little bit more about that. It's happened. Office. They're just not, they haven't started recruiting, but they will soon. Well, thank you again. Good, good job. Right, good luck. Thank you.